Hey, Dave and Ashley here with XO Marriage. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a really important question today, and we appreciate those who send in questions. And if you subscribe to this YouTube channel, you also can submit questions that might get answered right here on YouTube. Today's question from Gabby says this, how do I not lose confidence when my spouse has a wandering eye? Thank mm. you, XO. Uh, and Gabby, thank you so much for that yes. question. And we get this question a lot. Uh, when, when your spouse is checking out other people, mm. Uh, I mean, it can just be a dagger to our heart because we're thinking like, what is it that you're looking for that, that's that's not in me? Because the way that God designed us, yeah, he, he designed us to notice attractive people. He designed us to be visual, but he did not design us to, to look and linger and lust. Right. So it's not a sin to notice that somebody's attractive, but it is a sin when we allow our, our thoughts and our eyes to linger on somebody other than our spouse. And it's certainly a sin to allow fantasies of someone other than our spouse to play into our mind. And it's gonna create so much division in our marriage. Yeah. And so how do, number one, we keep our eyes focused on our spouse and away from not only other people, but from toxic forces like pornography. And then what do we do when our spouse is the one mm -hmm. who's looking and it's just crushing our confidence in the process and making us feel not connected to them. I'm a guy that early in, in our marriage, early in adulthood, I had a real struggle with pornography. Lust just had a grip on me, even though I was madly in love and attracted to, to this beautiful woman and now and forever will be madly attracted to her. I went through a time where my my own mind was kind of warped by this kind of lustful desire to let my eyes wander everywhere. And so I know what that feels like, but you've got to take that captive. The Bible mm -hmm. says, take your thoughts captive. And we've got to be so intentional about what we allow into our mind and where we allow our eyes to go because your wife has to be your only standard for beauty. And you, she can never feel like you're comparing her to somebody else. And so you need to be aware of not only where you're looking on the street, but also the Instagram accounts you're following. Yes. Or like if you're, if you're following accounts just because these bikini pictures are gonna pop up and you say, no, I'm just into this fitness account. It's like, no, you're into looking at the bikini yeah. girl, okay? So we need to just have some common sense here yes. and say, I wanna safeguard my marriage and respect my wife, even when she's not there right next to me. I wanna be safeguarding what's happening in my mind and in my eyes and make sure that my thoughts are focused on her. Absolutely, and I want to share a quote with you that really I think resonates with this particular issue. And it's from Lisa Turkers, one of my favorite authors. And I remember she said this, she said, the mind feasts on what it focuses on. And so if you're focusing on all these other women, it's like you're feasting on those images. And you know, guys and girls, if this is an issue you know, for you, today is the day that it needs to stop being an issue because you gotta start focusing on God and focusing on your spouse and the family that he's given you because that's where, that's where your heart is going to follow and that's what you're gonna feast on. You wanna feast on that goodness that God has put in your life and you don't wanna do anything to break their heart or to tear you apart from each other. And so let today be the day that this bad habit habit of, of letting your look, you know, linger on someone else stops. Let it stop today. So good. Thank you again for that question. You too can send us questions. And again, the best way to do that is to subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, then in the comments, send your question and maybe we'll answer it on the air. In addition to this channel, you can find us, Dave and Ashley, on the Naked Marriage Podcast. And you can also go to xomarriage.com, our ministry's website, for a full list of resources and events. And we would love to see you there. <music>